testing the Ford Ranger Raptor happens here, where we simulate years of engine abuse. The bi-turbo diesel engine is raised to 388 degrees, then dropped to minus 34. We repeated this over a thousand times to stress test the cutting edge bi-turbo. Built from Inconel, a specialized nickel alloy used in aerospace travel, it thrives under pressure. Next, the ultimate endurance test, full throttle for 18 days straight. Finally, it's unleashed on sand, mud, rock and gravel on climbs as steep as 45 degrees. This is where dynamic stability control, all-terrain tires and a terrain management system featuring the exclusive Baja mode come together to deliver optimal traction. While the optimized 10-speed automatic transmission is designed to ensure peak torque performance from the bi-turbo diesel engine making all 500 newton meters available from as low as 1750 rpm. Testing the Ford Ranger Raptor's suspension starts here. The repeated impact caused by these motocross-inspired whoops could not be handled by standard suspension. But the Ford Ranger Raptor takes it in its stride, thanks to its bespoke aluminium control arms and 2.5-inch Fox shocks. This sophisticated suspension system features position-sensitive damping, providing low damping in the middle of the suspension travel for a smooth ride and stiff damping at the end of travel to help avoid bottoming and topping out. The next test is a heavy landing. The Ford Ranger Raptor has up to 32% more travel over standard Ranger suspension, absorbing the impact without transferring excessive force to the chassis. The small force that makes it into the chassis meets a specialized frame with stiffened side rails made from high-strength, low-alloy steel. For those people who know a bit about the F-150 Raptor, you'll see some of that same DNA translated. Key interaction points like the instruments, steering wheel, the shifter, paddle shifters, pedals, even the startup sequence is unique. The first thing that you're gonna notice when you open the door is the dramatic sculpture in the seats. The seat is the thing that's going to hold you in position when you're doing that really extreme driving that this vehicle offers opportunity to do. The seat itself is, is an amazing thing in the way that we use a Miko suede, which is typically used on performance vehicles. The steering wheel on the Ranger Raptor is differentiated in a couple of ways. Probably the most obvious one is the centre marker at the top of the wheel, which helps the driver understand where straight ahead is. Another feature on the steering wheel are the cusp magnesium paddle shifters that allow you to hold onto the wheel tightly and shift at the same time without losing any level of control. The brute of Raptor is really on the exterior. It's imposing, it's, it's menacing, but on the interior there's a level of refinement. The blue stitching itself was something we really wanted to bring in that was distinctly Ford Performance. So when I think about design for purpose and the marriage of form and function, the interior of the vehicle is where that really comes together.